Here's some industry trends. Um, this trend here points out, uh, this graph here points out some changing and coming from the growing importance of the internet. Um, here is the time spent by people, that's the yellow, and the blue is the advertising dollars. So we can see TV is roughly balanced. Internet, there's somewhat more time spent than ad dollars. Mobile, there's an enormous amount of disparity between ads and uh, time spent. And um, whereas print is exactly the opposite. There's a huge uh, excess of ad budget compared to uh, time spent. So this just points out that we're moving more to an internet-driven or online um, way of spreading information. This uh, notes that um, the uh, top 10 uh, global internet uh, properties, and you can see these are all um, these the first ones here are all U.S. And uh, here we have some, um, Baidu is uh, Tencent, I believe it, Chinese. Um, and if you look at the number of U.S. users of the U.S. site, is actually a small fraction for all of these sites here. And um, so these are a big export industry. And um, and the U.S. has the top eight uh, of internet properties. So this is a field where the, U the United States has at the moment a lead, but obviously there's a lot of capability and interest in um, places outside the U.S. Uh, competing with and maybe successfully competing with the U.S. now that the because uh, this is a, to remain near the top, you're going to have to keep on innovating and giving greater value to users. Here's an interesting comment on the change in mobile phone operating systems. Now the dominant operating systems, Apple, Android, and Windows, are um, a huge fraction of the total. Um, maybe 85, 85, almost 90 percent. And what it says here up here, 88, I'm sorry, it's clear. Whereas it used to be 5%. So the US OSs are 88% of the smartphone market at the moment. And um, so that's an in interesting uh, change in the, in the source of, uh, of phone operating systems. Here is uh, social media. There's a kind of interesting actual drop in the use of Facebook. All the other sites, as you expect, are actually increasing. And, um, um, and of course, the number of people using Facebook is enormous. So the fact they drop, they're dropping from a very high, they're still at a very high value of a fraction of people using it. And poor old Facebook can't ever get bigger than 100%, presumably. Here's an interesting comment on China. If we plot the uh, mobile phone use versus desktop PC use for accessing the internet, currently more people um, access the internet from a mobile phone than they do from a desktop machine. We already commented on this, that um, as we um, um, move forward, the lightweight clients, uh, mobile phones and uh, tablets are taking over from desktop PCs, partly because you can put so much computing in those small devices that they're as powerful as a desktop PC. And the desktop PC doesn't know what to do with the increasing power of CPUs. Word doesn't run very well in parallel on multi-core chips. So here is some comment on um, e-commerce actually says the that Alibaba, the uh, Chinese uh, site, is actually larger than Amazon uh, and eBay at the end of last year. So that's quite a striking number. But so is just these total volumes, $150 billion of uh, merchandise value. And it's still increasing fast, because Alibaba is dramatic, but uh, Amazon and eBay are also both increasing fast. 
And that contrasts, of course, with the Postal Service, which is seeing a sort of inevitable decrease in volume as some of the things done by physical mail are switched to email and social media interactions. And um, one presumably can expect these trends to continue. Um, this um, game presents data on the uh, operating system where um, Apple and Android is um, taking over from Windows. This is the, the sum on all machines. And we can see that whereas winter, in, um, here we have an interesting dominance of, of Microsoft Windows starting around uh, uh, maybe the mid 80s here, where it reached 50%. And now Apple and Android are actually in some much as 65% compared to Windows at 35%. So this is an important and possibly again inevitable change as we switch to a different type of device.